The Fatianova culture, flourishing around 29th to 20th centuries before the Common Era, was a branch of the broader corded ware culture, which originated in Central Europe and extended eastward as populations migrated. Located primarily in the forested regions of what is now Central Russia, around Moscow, Ivanova, Vladimir, Yaroslavl, and Tver regions, the Fatianovo people were one of the first Indo-European groups to settle in this area. The Fatianovo people practiced a pastoral lifestyle, likely focusing on cattle and sheep herding, and their migrations and interactions with local populations played a role in the spread of Indo-European languages in the region. The architecture of the Fatianova culture is not well documented due to the ephemeral nature of their wooden structures which have largely decayed over time. However, they are known for their elaborate burial practices. Burials were typically single inhumations placed in shallow pits, often with bodies laid in a flex position and accompanied by grave goods, such as pottery, weapons and personal ornaments. This burial style and the presence of cord-marked pottery in the graves connects them to the corded ware ancestors. The Fatianova culture is notable for its pottery, which features corded and combed patterns, a hallmark of the broader corded ware culture, often used to decorate simple yet elegant vessels. As the Fatianova culture expanded eastward, it eventually blended with other groups, leading to the formation of the Abashova culture, which in turn contributed to the rise of the Sintashta culture in the southern Ural region. The Sintashta culture, known for its advanced metallurgy and chariot technology, is often regarded as the precursor to Indo-Iranian peoples. For this video, I gathered seven high-quality genomes of the Fatianova culture in central Russia. Four of these samples are from Yaroslavl Oblast, two are from Moscow Oblast, and one is from Tver Oblast. I ran the samples for my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis. The link to purchase the samples, as well as the tool, is in the description of the video. Two of the seven samples were predicted to have a stranded phenotype. One sample was predicted to have a Volgid phenotype. One sample was predicted to have a Pamidid phenotype. One sample was predicted to have an Alpinid phenotype. One sample was predicted to have an Iranid phenotype. And one sample was predicted to have a Mediterranean phenotype. Here is the morph of the average predicted phenotype of the whole group. All the samples were pretty dark by European standards. Five samples were predicted to have brown eyes and two samples were predicted to have hazel eye color. Five samples were predicted to have black hair and two samples were predicted to have dark brown hair color. Five samples were predicted to have olive skin and two samples had light brown skin color. The most common hair texture among the samples was curly and three samples scored this as their predicted hair texture. Two samples were predicted to have wavy hair texture and one sample was predicted to have kinky hair texture. One sample was also predicted to have straight hair texture. Six out of seven samples were predicted to have Greek nose shape and one sample was predicted to have a snub nose shape. Four out of seven samples were predicted to have high odds of male pattern boldness. Four out of seven samples were predicted to be shorter than average and three samples were predicted to be taller than average. The samples had a low predisposition to kidney stones. Four out of seven samples carried risk variants for hemoglobin E disease and three samples scored very high for risk of hemoglobin E disease. The samples had a low predisposition to migraine. One sample had a high predisposition to lupus. Most samples had a very low predisposition to gout and most samples had a low predisposition to eczema. Three samples had a high predisposition to cataracts and three samples had a high predisposition to age-related macular degeneration. Two samples had a high predisposition to epilepsy and two samples had a high predisposition to myopia. One sample also had a low predisposition to epilepsy and two samples had a low predisposition to myopia. Regarding certain mental conditions, the Fatianovites had a low predisposition to Tourette's, ADHD and unipolar depression. The samples had a low predisposition to Alzheimer's disease and type 2 diabetes. The Fatianovites had an overall low predisposition to atrial fibrillation and cardiovascular issues, although two samples did score high for odds of atrial fibrillation. Three of the Fatianovites were predicted to be warriors, while two were predicted to be warriors on the basis of MAOA, COMT, and MAOB genotypes. Four of the Fatianovites were predicted to have more D2 dopamine receptor sites, 
while three were predicted to have an intermediate number of D2 receptor sites, which leads to an overall higher odds of bipolar and schizophrenia. Three of the Fatianovites were predicted to have high odds of bipolar 1. Two of the Fatianovites were predicted to have high and one sample was predicted to have low odds of allergies. Five of the Fatianovites had high odds of autism, and two samples had intermediate odds of autism. No sample was predicted to be lactase persistent. Four of the samples were predicted to have higher level of empathy, while three samples were predicted to have lower level of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. The Fatianovites were pretty unathletic, most of them carried the XX or TT genotype in ACTN3's R577X variation that is associated with lessened athletic performance. Five of the seven samples had a predisposition to increase the risk of alcohol dependence. Four of the seven Fatianovite samples had lower odds of epithelial cancers on the basis of 8Q24 genotypes, and three samples had higher odds of epithelial cancers. Three samples had low odds of breast cancer, two samples had high odds of glioma or brain cancer, four samples had high odds of thyroid cancer, and four samples had homozygous risk genotype in KTLG leading to the increased testicular cancer risk. Five samples had low odds of leukemia and one sample had very high odds of leukemia. Two samples had very high odds of polycythemia vera on the basis of JAK2 genotypes. Six out of seven samples scored low odds for autoimmune conditions on the basis of HLA genotypes and one sample scored high for odds of autoimmune disease. Speaking of autoimmune conditions, two samples had high odds of rheumatoid arthritis, one sample had high odds of type 1 diabetes and no sample carried any HLA-DRB1 alleles for multiple sclerosis risk. Six of the seven samples had intermediate odds of obesity, while one sample had low odds of obesity. Two samples had high odds of syncope, while five had lower than average odds of syncope. Five samples were predicted to have below average red blood cell count, four samples were predicted to have shorter telomeres leading to shorter lifespan, while three samples had longer telomeres leading to longer biological lifespan. One sample had high iron levels indicating possible hemochromatosis. The Fatianovites had a strong predisposition to high LDL cholesterol, with four samples scoring elevated LDL cholesterol levels. They also had a predisposition to elevated vitamin D levels, with six out of seven samples scoring higher than average levels of vitamin D. The Fatianovites sampled had blood types A and O, and blood types B and AB were not observed among the samples I gathered. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and check out the description for all the useful links.